Three decades ago, it was realized that to really help children who have been victims of child abuse, you have to create a one-stop shop for therapy, recovery, and possible court involvement. Now, Mike Shue reports the third oldest center in the country is asking you to help them to succeed. There is some serious business that goes on in this building. It's the home of the Baltimore Child Abuse Center. It helps about 2,000 kids a year, and I'll bet you every single one of them knows a staffer named Manny. Jeremiah knows Manny, and Manny knows yes. Jeremiah. Just Carrie is also on the staff here. She takes Manny home at night. And when we have kids or families that come in here that are uptight or worried or distressed, his level of just calmness and chillness kind of brings the temperature down in the room. To be clear, little Jeremiah is not an abused kid. His mom works here, and he's here to show you how this process works. Usually, it's Amanda Kina who will interview a child, and she brings Manny in, as he's irresistible. It really is wonderful because with Manny by their side, it helps us to build rapport with the children even more quickly than normal. And so he really does aid in that whole process of making them feel safe and comfortable with with all the staff. So that's the kind of work done here, helping kids stay on the path of recovery. It takes quite a bit of money to keep this place running. Some of that responsibility falls to Mandy Heinel. She's the chairwoman of the Be a Hero Gala. Her goal is $250,000. This year, it features Olympic gold medalist Allie Raisman. It gives children a chance to tell their story and to be heard, and it builds resilience. And so um, as someone who experienced abuse as a child, I see firsthand what the power of hope and the power of people listening and believing you, what it does to people. Their fundraiser gala is on May 10th. Tickets are $75. I'm Mike Shue reporting for WJZ.